The next thing we are cutting is a potato. I have already peeled the potatoes and they are ready to cut. So first of all, I'm gonna use the tunnel method to chop my potato in half a few places to make them small so they can become dices. Now when I'm making mashed potatoes, the smaller I cut my potato, the quicker it's going to cook, especially on an electric stove top. So I did my tunnel method to cut it into its smaller pieces. Now I'm gonna use the claw method to cut it into match sticks. And I'm specifically cutting this ridiculously too small to show you how to dice something up. So when you dice something up, you wanna create a perfect cube shape. This is as close as we can get to this perfect cube shape with uh, what I've cut so far. So now we're gonna cut it the same width that this is, this direction to create our dice or our cube. So you probably can't see this. Hold on, Faye. There we go. So we have our cube potatoes. I'm also taking this and putting it in the water too so that it doesn't oxidize as well. The other benefit to putting potatoes that you've cut into water is to rinse off the starch so that you don't have a really sticky, gooey, icky potato. They can get pretty slimy if you don't rinse off the starch and the starch is on all the surface area that you cut. So this time I'm gonna cut it this direction. Hold on, Faye, hold on. So that's a nice, easy way to cube ice up <laughs> your potatoes. So tunnel method. Claw method. Claw method. Now we're going to just cut, 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 cut. And you're always trying to plant the tip of your knife. Okay, you could Notice how cloudy this is. I am going to rinse this and rinse it and rinse it until the cloudiness goes away. The cloudiness is the starch. So you want to rinse off the starch so that you don't have a very slimy mashed potato. So rinse, rinse, rinse until the starch is gone.